For more videos visit for the sake of education.com. All right guys, now we're going to do this problem that says is express each of the forces as a Cartesian vector form and determine the magnitude and coordinate direction angles of the resultant force between these two. So the first thing I like to do is find the position vectors. Position vector A is equal to, I would say, 0 i minus 0.75 j plus 3 k. Position vector V uh, is V in the X. V has a Y component and a C component. The X component is 2 cosine of 40. The Y component is 2, um, actually, 2 sine of 40. Right here. Right here. And the C component is 0. So this comes out to be 1.532i plus 1.286j plus 0k. And position vector for C is 2i minus 1j plus 0k. So now that we have the three position vectors, we want to find AB and AC. So AB is equal to BX minus AX in the I plus BY minus AY in the J plus BC minus AC in the K. When you plug the numbers in from these two vectors you're going to get that this vector is equal to 1.532i plus 2.036j minus 3k and this is vector AB so now we need to find the magnitude of AB and the magnitude can be found by doing the x squared plus y squared plus c squared of the vector above and you're gonna get that the magnitude is equal to 3.936 so now what you're gonna do is find the univector univector a b and univector can be found by dividing each of the components by the magnitude of the total vector so it's going to be x over a b i plus y over a b j plus c over a b k and when you do you're going to get these values 0.389 i plus 0.517 j minus 0.762k and all you have to do now to find the force this is for univector AB so this is going to be a tiny vector right here with a magnitude of 1 all you got to do is multiply this force by this vector so force AB is going to be equal to the magnitude of the force times this times the univector so you multiply by each of the ones and you're gonna get that these times these the magnitude times the y and the magnitude times the c and it's gonna give you the three values so you're gonna get that is equal to 97.3 i plus 129.3 j minus 190.7 k and this is for vector AB. Now we're going to do the same thing for vector AC. Let me draw a line so we don't mix this up. I'm going to go right here. We're going to find it in a similar fashion as we did here. We're going to do CX minus AX 
uh, CY minus AY and CC minus AC. And you're going to get that this vector is equal to 2I minus 0.25J minus 3K by plugging in the values from here and here in the formula I just told you. Now the magnitude of AC is found in this similar fashion and you're going to get that it's equal to 3.614 and now all you have to do is divide each of these values to get the univector AC just like we did here and the univector AC is equal to 0.553i minus 0.069j minus 0.830k and then all you have to do is multiply the magnitude of the force this is the, ve the univector AC so by multiplying this force by this vector you're gonna get the three components just like we did here and you're going to get that the force of AC is 221.4i minus 27.9j minus 332k. Now that you have this, you can find the resultant force by adding F of AB plus F of AC. Basically add the X with the x, the y with the y, and the c with the c, and you're going to get that is equal to 318.7i plus 101.4j minus 527.7k. But they want the magnitude and the coordinate direction angles because they're annoying. So what you want to do is find the magnitude, just like we did for AV, the x component square plus the y component square plus the c component square. And it comes out to be 620.53. And to find the direction angles, You got to do the cosine inverse of each of the components divided by the magnitude. Y over the magnitude and C over the magnitude. And the angles come out to be 59.1 degrees, 80.6 degrees and 147.4 degrees. So these are the angles, magnitude, angles, Cartesian vector form of AB and Cartesian vector form of AC. Final answer. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.